Um, yep, that's how it is. Hey guys, I'm sitting out on the front porch um, of our you know, newly renovated house. Um, we're planting the garden right now. We pretty much have a blank slate. We have we had a lot of plant material. We had a lot of plant material I collected when I was a landscape designer. We had some, you know, various rare and you know, kind of some pretty cool stuff, which, you know, pretty much universally was all in the way of the construction. So we have a completely blank slate. Um, I'm doing this year a lot of containers um, on the porch and on the deck. Um, I started a lot of things from seed. There's a picture of that coming up. You can kind of see it. Um, and I'm, we're putting in shrubs. I'm figuring to use three different shrubs. Glossy Abelia, which is one of my favorites. It's a semi-evergreen um, shrub. Kind of azalea-like, um, but it blooms from May to, May to October. Um, it's fragrant. It's a, no downside to this, you know, to this thing at all. Um, I want to use some shrub roses. I'm going to propagate some, I have some... And I've got a whole bunch of... Um, we have a few heirloom roses left over from the people before us. Um, probably 50, 60 years old, I would think. I'm going to propagate some of them and move them around the property. And, you know, mainly just cut the beds, put some shrubs in it, and then flower-wise, just kind of have all the containers organized. <clears throat> Come up, there's a picture of a lot of the stuff that I started from seed this year that I'm getting ready to put in. Um, I've hit, you guys saw me, you know, you guys, any of you guys that are on our Facebook saw me um, scooping up a lot of sale plants at Lowe's and I've been continuing to do that every time I get by a Lowe's. So a lot of our perennials and stuff will be in. Minor, I think. Uh, maybe a little, but no more than Elvis and the two kids that went that way. So. Fair enough. Hey, honey, how are you? We're good. How was school? It's good. What's the topic? Uh, garden. Oh, nice. Uh, the garden. So I'm in the back of the house now, sitting on the deck steps. You can see some of the new starts um, to put in this year behind me. Um, I did a walkthrough um, to show you guys, like, you know, how much area we're working with. Truly, the addition takes up most of the backyard. But we have enough space for, like, a fire pit and to do, you know, um, sit out if we, you know, decide we want to sit in the yard or whatever. I'm going to use three... Uh, three shrubs. I'm going to get some uh, blue hollies, some shrub roses, uh, probably red or like fuchsia color, and glossy abelia. I included some pictures and some information about those three. I'm trying to keep it simple this year. A lot of my flowers and things like that are going to land in pots just because it's easier and it's going to be late before I get all the beds cut um, that I want. <clears throat> but it's extremely fun. Um, it's like, you know, kind of having a new house because they're really, you'll see it when you look at the walkthrough, there is just nothing going on um, plant-wise. So I apologize for all the noise in this one. I wanted to do it outside with the plants and so I could look around, but um, our town has been very loud today. So apologies for that. Um, next video, I'll have Dan with me. He's taking, he's doing a Rip Van Winkle on us with his nap, so he hasn't gotten up yet, and I wanted to get this in. And mainly the plants are kind of my department anyway, in the end. So, but in the next video, um, Dan, Dan will be there, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. So we're talking about what to put in in the garden. 
And as you guys can see, we're working pretty much with a blank slate. I'm coming down the front steps right now. We have this area around the front left. Okay, we have this area which has some tiger lilies in it, but that's pretty much it. This is down the left-hand side of the house. So I'm thinking about a, a pathway through here and then plants on each side. Most of the plants that we had, um, shrubs and whatever, are are gone um, and we miss them. But we're gonna put in some of the same things and then add in some new stuff is what we're hoping. This is an old fish bowl that I had. Um, I don't think it's gonna stay like this. The landscape, the uh, contractor set this up. We're probably gonna move it somewhere else. Okay, so there's a lot of work to do here. And then down this side of the house, this is the white pine tree that was from Gary's first Christmas. So this is 32 years old um, and is never being removed, even though it's a little ungainly at the moment. Um, we're gonna do some trimming here though. This is the foundation on the right side. Um, I'm thinking about glossy abelia for here and I included some pictures of that in, you know, in the rest of the video. We have to think up what to do with our trash, which we have quite a bit of. Um, we've got two more days till trash day here, just to give you guys a visual on that. So there's a lot of disposable, disposable medical, this and that. And then we have this pathway down to the back door. Um, I'm thinking about stepping stones and gravel along here to get the elevation up a little bit to get out of that water that sits there um, down at the end. So now I'm walking down the side and I want to show you guys the backyard as well and a little bit of what we're thinking about that. So here we are. This I think would be a really neat winding pathway here. And you can kind of see it winds already naturally almost. So I could install steppers here and I think it would be good. This is our one of our original rose bushes. This is, I think, the sole survivor. We had four over here. Um, these, we've been in the house for 35 years and the people before us were in the house for 30 and they put them in. So now here is the side of the deck. And this is where I'm considering putting our pond. So I thought a uh, foundation planting of glossy abelia along the um, lattice and then the pond right in front of it. Okay, here is the walkway that goes to the lift here. Where Dan has access, of course. Um, we have these small retaining walls here. I wanna plant something over the top that will kind of drape over the walls. Here is the pond and Believe it or not, I put this in like 23 years ago and it's still holding water. Um, it had to be dug out because of where it was, of course. But this thing is intact. So that's what I'm thinking about putting out front along the, um, along the deck. That way we'll be able to hear the water and all. And this is the backyard. I'm thinking about a potting bench right here um, in the corner where we can pot stuff. My daughter, Danielle, lives here as well, and she is a great gardener, so that might be handy for her as well. Okay, and some kind of lawn area and some kind of fire pit, and that's one of the things we'll be talking about. You can see the little fire pit we've been using, but I'm thinking about building maybe a stone one. So we don't have a lot of space to work with, but I think we can make it look kind of, kind of neat. Okay, and here is up the other side. So we've come all the way around. There's that wet spot that I showed you before. Um, and that's where I'm thinking gravel and steppers as well. Not 100% sure what to do here. Here we have a little drainage issue. So I'm thinking about a French drain along this wall. So we'll see, but that's it. That's our yard. 
uh, much smaller now. Most of our yard is addition at the moment, and there it is. There's uh, Dan's and my new bedroom, and you know, and the new air conditioning and all. So take a look in the next part of the video. I have a lot of the plants that we're planning to use. Um, and we'll be buying them, you know, a little at a time here and there across the summer. All right. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon.